We Ooh. love hip hop. Not Like Us has not been put as song of the summer. What is it? I told you. Right. Um, what so, is the song of the summer? Um, the Shabusi. Get tipsy. Get tipsy. Okay, DJ Zar. Yes. DJ Zar. Okay. As a DJ who doesn't just play hip hop stuff, right? You play multiple genres, right? Yeah. It's not like a song of the summer. No. Okay. But, but that's in my circle of gigs, which is like mostly weddings. All right. And are you requesting? Um, we're saying song of the summer, not just for hip hop. Of, of out of all the songs, fam. Billboard is saying that it's not the song of the summer. Okay, I think it, it's a toss-up between um, Shamboozy, the tipsy song, because that song does ring off. It rings! Because it's so viral, everyone's seen it on their social media, so everyone knows that song. Mm -hmm. Sabrina Carpenter, who recently got the number one album on the Billboard 200. Yes, she was the second one. She was the yeah. also. Espresso. Yes. That song rings off, especially with the white girls. I'm not going to lie. It's like a hack. And even, even just any girl under the age of like 25, 24, mm. that is their song right now, low key. What about Kalani? Not the actual singer. The song named Kalani by Jordan Adudish. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't have a DJ that song. Look that um, up. Look but, that up. That's and considered. Not like us. I, you know what I'll say? Maybe it was like the prom season mm. song. So like early summer. And literally just for the A minor and the flop, flop, flop. Like that, like just gather delivery. Yeah. Where yeah, everyone yeah. is saying it at the same time. Um, but, but I feel like people are over it now because it's like. I don't know. It's such a direct diss song that like you can't really listen to it every single time because it's uh, such a diss. You know? Okay, so I'm going to play something from Ebro in the Morning. All right? Big salute to Ebro um, from Hot 97. He was saying that they can't play the song because companies can't get in tune with it. They can't lock in with a, a song that's talking about, a, uh, about PDF files and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'll play what he said that I don't believe it's appropriate to make Kendrick Lamar not like us song of the summer. Why? You said it's, you said it's not appropriate? Why? No. Listen, we were all here for the battle. We were all here for the shenanigans. But that is not for a corporation to come in and say, boom, this song is the song of the summer when it's based on a battle and some allegations that are very inflammatory. I don't think that's appropriate. Okay, mm -hmm. if it's that serious, then you can write that in your articles and say, although X, Y, Z, but you just can't deny what the people are consuming and what they're, what they're uplifting. Like, to me, there is no question. Like, it is what it is. Yeah, I feel like we've had some other foul ass songs before that we've celebrated. But can we be fair for a second? How many times did any of us hear the Post Malone Morgan Wallen song? Oh, that's the one that the number one. Mm, the that's Post a good Malone, song. That's the one, number one song they're saying. I had some hell. <laughs> you know what it is. I myself. Right? Right away, you, I say that song, you know the song. It's so a good song. It's, I don't think it's like a crazy theory that Not Like Us didn't become the song of the summer in all totality. Maybe in the hip-hop culture. You know what I'm saying? Within black culture or hip-hop culture, like I see that they're playing in bands or like marching bands are playing it and stuff and cool. But in all totality, nah, be like country's running shit right now. Yo, I'm going to be honest, as big of a genre and culture as hip hop is, mm. I feel like most people don't listen to hip hop. Really? Like the vast majority of middle America, <sighs> random ass whites. You know, they might listen to Nelly or Usher, you know, mm -hmm. that, but like they don't really like dive in. They only listen to country or only listen to pop or only listen to yeah. EDM, you know? Drake. Yeah, maybe Drake. Drake yeah. is like, even for them, it's like, you know, maybe too close to the edge. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. But nobody's like in mid middle America is listening to the baby. Mm. Maybe they are the they baby. Are. They, they have rappers. Some of them do listen to hip hop. I'm just saying the majority of people, I feel like, because if the majority of people did listen, wouldn't there be more hip hop songs on that list? Or maybe there aren't enough good hip hop songs right now. Well, there was this point in time where hip hop was the most widely consumed genre in the world. Right. So we can't take that away. But that was like, I think, a stat that was like five years old. I think over time, country is 
remember at one point hip hop was number one on like whatever hip hop song it was was number one on the Billboard charts on too. Billboard as you well as in the streets. Yes. Yeah. Um, maybe early two thousands, like with Fifty Cent and Eminem and all those guys dropping, they were like number one, number one. You know what I'm saying? Two million records sold in in a month, and you know, first weeks of. Uh, Lil Wayne sold a million records in the first week when he dropped the Carter three. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think he had a, um, a milli probably hit like in the top three or number one. Mm -hmm. And um, there was another song that was off of that album that was huge um, besides a milli. Gil, but I feel like the new hip hop songs that are getting popular, mm. it's not being reflected on the Billboard charts. Like and who, sales. Yeah, like Boss Mandilo, Cash Cobain, like these, you know, like, are they even on the, like, the top 10? I don't think so. Uh, you know? There might be in the top 10s of the hip-hop R&B charts, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because they have a separate chart for that, too. But, like, the top 150 songs in the, in the whole nation, like, come on, fam. Like, these guys are, most hip-hop artists are struggling to sell over 30,000 in a week now. What, what's the top 10 right now? How many hip-hop songs are in the Billboard Hot 100 I'll top 10? Up. I'll look it up. My guess is, I'm going to go with two. Because I know Not Like Us is up there. So Billboard Hot 100. Let's go there. They, don't, they could only give us a limited amount because they have to pay for like the full mm. thing. Uh, so let's see. Number one, um, Shabuzi. No. All right. That's not hip hop, but two yeah, Sabrina Carpenter, three Sabrina Carpenter, four Sabrina Carpenter, five Post Malone, um, six Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars. Lady Gaga <laughs> is in the top ten right now. That is why. Good for her. Seven Billie Eilish. Number eight Chappelle Roan, and number nine Kendrick Lamar. Not like us. And then number ten Teddy Swims. There's zero hip hop anywhere close to the top ten. No, man. not like Except us. Except for not like us. That's the only thing that's in the top 10. That's crazy. You know what's crazy is Sabrina Carpenter having three songs in the top five. You know, she signed to Hollywood Records, which is owned by Disney. This girl was on Girl Meets World. Wow. She's 25 years old, born 99. She, uh, it's funny because we just talked about her, mm. but she is like this industry darling. Like the Hollywood Records manages the Jonas Brothers, Hilary <laughs> Duff, Miley Cyrus, wow. Corbin. Like, any Disney star who went into music went through Hollywood Records. Automatic. What, and, and that's why she has the number one album right now is between her and Travis. Yeah, yeah. You know? I look Houdini, Eminem, 37. Like, I'm there scrolling to try to find more hip hop. Um, Like, while you were, so like, explaining Dang, it. there's no, uh, even in between. Oh, uh, there's that song Kalani you were talking, you're talking about. about. Jordan. Um, Atu. Oh, like that, Jay. like that. Atu J or something. Oh, like that. Yeah, like that is twenty ninth. Saturn is a is more. But can I can I be real? Talk to mm. me. If a song has been remade, which is Tipsy by Shabuzi, mm -hmm. that is hip hop. It was from what's his name? It's uh, from uh, Jaquan. Yeah. Jaquan and J and uh, Jermaine Dupri. Yes, but <laughs> because I guess they did a country <laughs> interpolation of it. It's 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 a it's in country. It's a country. It's in the country category. category. Even though. Yes, they took from hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> it's got hip hop roots like crazy. crazy. Could you consider it a hip hop song? Because like he does rap. I do. I've been bougie since I live. <laughs> I, I, I do because especially oh, if they're Lord. from the down south, they're from the south, and yeah. you know what I mean. Like that's how their twang is. Like, My baby bought a Birkin. If you ever been, if you ever been to a lot of me places in the long. states, places in the states, mm. uh, country music is like the top thing you know what i mean the top sell seller out there yo so. this is almost like in the same way lil nas x was considered country yes. it's almost like from that you know yeah. i think lil nas x walked so that um shabuzi can shabuzi run can run man you know what i'm saying but like it this is very educational and reflective of what's in the top 10 or what's in the top 50 period like hip-hop's not really running shit anymore right what three songs in the top but, 50 four songs in the top 50 that's kind of crazy that is but, bad but it, it's still kind of from the urban sense of things it is yeah because number one is from a hip-hop song <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could say number one is the hip-hop song they just had to bend it a little bit and True. let it go right uh, yeah 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 still well, there bro listen man i don't feel like it was a hot take that not like us is not the song in the summer. And mm -hmm. just last thing on that, right? What y'all think about the the whole PDF file part of it too? Like, do you think that's a factor too? The fact that yeah, they're dissing mans. They're 
you're saying allegations that are not founded. You know what I'm saying? I al- yes, you're right. Mm. But you know what I also feel? There was no follow up by him mm. for us to be like, yo, this is the song of the summer, you yeah, know, because yeah, yeah. he put in the extra work after. There's two more songs after that for us to pick from and yeah. for him to be on. Bro, this was now I'm really looking at him as a pump faker of the year. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> this is a pump fake of the summer. To- Whoa. <laughs> and, 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 and for all the Drake traders and people who didn't have any faith in the boy, mm. this is to show you what, a, what, what the boy really is from what, the, what Kendrick really wasn't. Yeah, because he even like it, maybe even if he didn't follow up with a bunch of solo songs, if you seen him pop up on more um, features or if he like did more live performances, like it would be like, OK, Kendrick's here. Like we see him more often. Like he just ah. he dropped. He did the pop out and show concert and he disappeared again. Disappeared again. Right? Yeah. If, you, if you're a corporation, like you don't want to advertise your product anywhere near this sort of like retail space you know like the song not like us like you don't want that because you know that you could be offending people yeah Mm -hmm. so it's just not like a a friendly grounds for advertising you know and it's also with drake being such a big entity in the music industry and the amount of money that he pulls into the music industry period we really want to be doing things that just offend that side of things too but whoa you make you're making sense but whoa i just had a eureka talk to me most of these Corporate people are PDFs. Not <laughs> that too. <laughs> so you're right. Why would they put it on the thing? Yeah. Why push that song? <laughs> They're why, talking about them. Talking about me. Like why out ourselves. Said. Yeah. Like, no, like, hold like, on. Hold on. Me. Talking about them. Yeah. Don't let don't anybody say, clip say, that out of part. Say it's me. Right. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. You guys know. Don't do that. <laughs> no, don't clip him. Don't, do, don't even do that. I'll find. I'll find you. Dog. <laughs> like it will be serious things. Well, I'm saying. They are. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some exec like, whoa, he's talking about him. <laughs> I got a weird case. <laughs> Why am I around? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? When when they hear the A minor, it's actually like they enjoy that part. They you know, enjoy they're like, it, yeah. but, but they're like we cannot let the people know we like this song. Yeah, that'd expose hella executives. I enjoy it. When I was just thinking of them, I'm like, Oh, most of them are PDF files. So, yeah. but if he was, and then this is Kendrick being a gremlin because he's like, watch how I expose the game. They won't take the song because most of them are ashamed. This is what mm. they all are. It makes sense, but it would have went over. It would have went over my head. Pause. It would have went over my head now if I was one of these guys like them, mm. right? It would have went over my head and I would still took the song because I would have been in the hype and I would have wanted it before anybody else mm. got it if he had came up with a follow-up. Yeah. And I had more songs to pick from Kendrick. Then it would have been something where you'd have heard it on a, a Chevrolet commercial and been like, whoa, what's it doing there? But okay. You know where they use that song now? Mm. In things where they're talking about PDF files, YouTube videos, <laughs> like Salute to Gideon. Mm-hmm. I watch his um, yeah. To Catch a ED, um, an EDP. <laughs> <laughs> and he use like Yo. little parts of the beat in the background when he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's that theme music for them now, bro. <laughs> but it's the theme music for people chasing PDF files, bro. Yeah. It's not a good look That's for not a, a good theme look. song. Yeah. <laughs> I don't that's, that's your song they're choosing to be connected with that to you right and that's all good because i guess you're helping society or whatever but mm. it's not a good song for for advertising no. <laughs> you know what a better song for advertising is my baby bought a birkin <laughs> she been telling me all night long exactly. <laughs> gasoline and groceries the list goes on and on right <laughs> oh wow that was a crazy yeah, we gotta hey. do some of this in there. Jay. Jeez. <laughs> we love this is hip hop. <laughs> this is hip hop. Inflation. It is still hip hop, man. It's still hip hop. Don't let I think he you. is a rapper originally, and yeah. he, it wasn't working. It so, yeah, that's yeah. smart. Hey, black rappers, if it's not working, just go to country. They are. Salute to Lil Brett. They are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I've been watching his, his on. His timeline, every song he drops has been country lately. Country. And, and white rappers, if <laughs> no, it's not album. working. He has a country album. Mm. Because I'm uh, when I just did the interview on his management, yeah, right? Um, that was one of the things his manager was talking about mm. was 
he has a whole album, country, country, country full album, country album. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> get the hell out of here. Listen, it's it's but it's because hip hop ain't hitting like that, fam. Mm-hmm. We literally just looked at a chart that has barely any hip hop on it, bro. But a good amount of country, mad country. And listen, one hip hop song in the top ten. I think we might have a problem over here. Mm. Well, yeah, and and it's what we're we're speaking about in these hip hop songs. Mm. Let's just be real. Sabrina Carpenter right now, though, domination, right? A lot of de- de- degeneracy. Yes, in these hip hop songs, and it it just doesn't seem. Is like Million it. Dollar Baby? No, I wouldn't consider that hip hop. Mm. I ain't never been the same, baby. It's uh, not. Nah, that's not. It's it's has like hip-hop pop R and B, pop. I think pop took a lot of hip hop elements and just they incorporated all it. Do yes, but hip hop itself used to have a lot more <laughs> slots when it comes to the top ten, yeah. top twenty. Nelly, yes. Paul Wall, like you're supposed yes. to see bare names right now. There's not as much hip hop stars anymore, right? Like Kendrick is is in there. Drake is right now on kind of on a downslide. Drake is usually up here. Yes, but he's just not hidden as much as he used to because like the post battle or whatever. That's their fault. You'll but keep, you know. as far as like, there should be other people in there and like, they're just not, bro. Like hip hop's not doing as well as it You'll used keep to. Keep scrolling down. I just want to see, okay, wait, okay. In between there. So there's like that. So that's literally one. Sabrina Carpenter again. Right. This is a song is R&B, but I guess we'll put it in the hip hop category too. Houdini. Right. Wanna be oh, by, Glorilla. Gorilla, by Glorilla and uh, Meg Thee Stallion is at number 40. Peaked so, at 11. All right. Like, there are songs, but like it's like far and few in between compared to what it used to be. Yo, Sabrina Carpenter has so many songs in the top fifty, bro. Yo, they 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 love her, bro. She's the, she's the new she's the one. Disney is literally like shining the throne for her right now. Like get that song, that, that like a song off the charts, and put this one there. Yeah, yeah. And they got Drake off, which was a bad mistake, I think, for the whole hip hop industry. Them fighting against Drake in the last couple of months mm. was a was a was honestly our worst mistake. Yo, Friday, do you have any insider scoop on why he deleted Blue Green Red? Oh snap! No, I do not. But okay, I didn't okay. realize that that was deleted. Yeah, they deleted that. Yeah, I thought I thought you would know as the lawyer. Again. <laughs> You gonna have to check up on that case. I don't know. I'm oh, gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have gotta to go open do some the research. suitcase. <laughs> gotta open the suitcase a lot. I'll do my research. I'll do my my. Go to the library. Yeah, I'll go to the law libraries. But that's crazy. Some something, something's fishy going on over there, fam. I'm not not gonna lie. Just the way that he's been releasing the songs, putting them on the, the page first, the finsta in the first place. Like, it's, it, it's something's weird going on. You right know now. what it is. He started a new label, didn't he? No, I don't know. You, yeah. you, know, you know what it is? It's very Prince esque. Remember when Prince changed himself into a symbol and was trying yeah. to get out of that deal? This is kind of what it's given right now. You're you know? on the right path, my brother. Yes, You're on yes. the right path. There's uh, a beef going on. There's a beef happening between Drake and the label. I think. That the rich baby dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lucian. Yeah. He owns, I heard he owns OVO Records. Nah. No, am I, am I wrong? <laughs> I thought Drake owned that. You the lawyer. I don't know. I, I know lawyer. Drake and, and Ali and, and 40 own that. That's their label. So when they did that split deal for 400 mil or whatever it was, mm-hmm. the numbers there. That was for Drake. That was for Drake. Yes. Was that had anything for Lucius to have any dealings with the OVO Records? No, because OVO Records was on a separate label even than Drake's, um, Drake's music. Drake mm. was on uh, under Universal. Yeah. And OVO was under Warner at one Warner. point. A complete mm. different company. Okay, right. so wow. They're double with, double dipping. Yeah, but they weren't, they're not with Warner anymore. No. But I don't know what the OVO imprint, like what, like Roy, jo- uh, Roy Woods and all those guys, I don't know where their music is getting distributed through right now. Well, I think, isn't Smiley's through Warner? Yes, but yeah. they could have got him a separate deal through Warner. Warner, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? Who knows? Mm-hmm. Or they could have kept Smiley at Warner after OVO's label left Warner. Yeah, it's like he's still signed with Warner. Yes, that's still that con- uh, contract still holds. Yeah, we'll 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 renegotiate that contract, but we'll also retain that artist. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. This, I don't know. There's a lot of red tape and behind the scenes shit when it comes to that. Um, but salute to um, I guess Kendrick. I don't know who the salute is. Ooh, salute ooh. to Sabrina Carpenter. Yeah, <laughs> that's who gets the yeah. salute. Reach the pod. Yeah, Shabuzi. yeah. Pull up. <laughs> Shabuzi. 
and Shabuzi. Shout out Shabuzi. Um, we love hip hop.